Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Come on, curtain, move out of the way, dang it. Load, 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 there we go. Whoa, I'm back to Rogue Port. Yeah, after I was done being awestruck, I decided to come back and do some, well, I should say go back and do some other stuff. Yeah, I'm not a fan of backtracking either, but I forgot to do a bunch of stuff and I'm just going to show you what's going on. Uh, I should say what I've been doing. So first, I've got a turtley leaf and horsetail again. Yeah, I went back over to Petalburg and whatnot to get them. Uh, in my gear, I bought a honey syrup, Mr. Softener, because, you know, I spent that as currency to buy the badge, and a mushroom. I've also got a random ice storm drop from an enemy, so I'll be able to show how that works later. But unfortunately, unfortunately I was not able to get a Mr. Mini. Uh, so I'll have to get another one of those later to show it off. The contact lens is in. Forgot to show that. Although you might have noticed that when I came into the shop. Forgot to check this board. Hooktail of Petal Metals. Defeated by a brave hero. Must have been a tough guy. On the back. Graffiti corner. When looking for badge while looking for badges in Hooktail Castle, I ran into a spiffy mustache fellow, the heart stealing thief. Hmm, interesting. Who might that be? But anyway, the real, real, real reason why I came back to town was because I forgot to do something really, really awesome here, and that is upgrade a partner at this place. You remember this place, right? Yeah, you need three shine sprites. I have that many shine sprites to upgrade a partner. So, I'm going to upgrade Goombella because she kind of has less attack power overall. I should say less damage output overall than Koops. Shazubi! Shazubi! Magical words are ee ee poo! Oh, I love Super Monkey Ball too. Whoop. And she's got a little more attack power now, and she's also got a new move, which I'll show off later. Then you may go. So yeah, it just he just leaves you to check that for yourself. So let's go into here. See now she's got the multi bonk, which is similar to the uh, power bounce badge, and that you can use it to jump on enemies over and over again. Uh, which reminds me, I actually should uh, swap some badges out. Um, hmm. I'll, I'll just get rid of that. Because I want to show off uh, most of the badges if I can. So yeah, I'm going to swap those out. And now I will see you back over at the Boggly Woods. Hold on, I forgot one thing. Back over here, because I've got a bunch of star pieces. What can I buy? Um, let's not. No. No. Nah. Ooh, that actually seems pretty nice. Um, that's not too shabby. That's not too shabby either. Ooh, that. But I'll be tattling all the enemies, so I don't really need that now. Ooh, that's really good, but I don't have enough. Ah, such a good stuff, but it's so expensive. I guess I'll go with the item hog badge. Takes all oh, three badge points, but I gotta spend all the star points anyway. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go see you back over at the Bogley Goods now. Alright, we are back to this beautiful area and we can go over and see what is up. Oh, oh, there they are. <laughs> Time to go to work, my lovelies. Vivian, you understand what you've got to do. We got to, yes? Mm -hmm. Hey, find that Mario guy and be steal the map to the crystal stars, right? We can just do away with Mario and his friends, can we? Or is that bad? Oh, bad things happen all the time, Vivian. But you're right about our goals. If my information is correct, Mario should be coming down this road quite soon. Hide! You must ambush him here and get that map. Hmm, what's this now? Vivian, what's that you're finding over there? Hmm? Mm, necklace? Well, what do you mean this? I found near that tree over there a while back. Isn't it a gorgeous necklace? It was so lovely I just had to pick it up. Hmm, Vivian, for shame. Picking up someone's scraps. Disgusting. Greedy. But enough about that. Vivian, my dear pack rat, bring out the sketch of that Mario guy you got from Grotus. What? <laughs> I, I don't have that. You said it was way too important, so you took it. You should have it. Don't be ridiculous. I don't have that thing. You're in charge of it. You wretched little worm, blaming you for something you probably screwed up. But I... Uh, uh, 
Oh, poor Vivian. Oh, jeez. Hide! I said hide! Oh, no. Uh oh. G uh. Oh, what is it, Marilyn? Huh? What's that? A mustache fellow? This is no time for such nonsense, you great elf. Save your game for later. Is that a hint to, like, saving your game? Like, as a fourth... Oh, never, never mind. <laughs> Listen, I look, it's not my fault. I never had the sketch. Silence, you dits! Such impudence! How dare you talk back to me like some rebellious child? It's clear to me that the only rationale your type understands is force. No necklace! For your punishment, I'll be taking that necklace you just found. Yes, so sorry. Oh. But build them. Oh, you're horrid. Um should we go? Well, now let's talk to him. <laughs> what am I to do? Uh, uh, uh. What is it, Mr. Mustache? Leave us. Scram. Right now. I have no business with you. Okay. <laughs> so apparently they don't recognize us because they don't have the sketch of Mario. Hey, there's a sleepy sheep. Sweet. Right. I should have been bashing trees earlier. I don't think there were any trees in that first area. Oh, jeez. Pale piranha. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, there we go. Must, tattle, pale, piranha. Oh, there's a... Oh, that's the enemy that would have attacked me had I failed the quiz. That's a cleft. I'm going to switch over to Goombella. Oh, by the way, her HP is also upgraded, so that is a bonus. It's even higher than Mario's now. Mm. Oh, and I uh, would also like to demonstrate stylish moves as well. You notice that there was a little exclamation point right after I line up the cursor. Well, that's uh, another time for you to press the A button and do stylish moves. When you do stylish moves, that increases the star points that you'll get from your um, action commands. And you can find out how to do these stylish moves with that badge that I got. That was the badge that I spent 120 coins for because I really wanted to show off the stylish commands known as the timing tutor. Anyway, that's a pale piranha. You know about these guys. The famous piranha plants. The colorless subspecies is back to, the, to boggly woods. Ah, the ones of nature. Evolution. <laughs> Max HP is four, attack is two, and defense is zero. If you try to jump on them, they'll totally chomp on you. So they're like a spiked enemy because they're, you know, they got their mouths pointed upwards. So I'm going to show you another type of stylish move now. Just after the hammer strikes, backflip, and press A when you hit the ground. Mm -hmm. uh! All right. Oh, I can't. Can I really? All right, I still got a tad laugh, but there's a thing. I don't think I'll be able to defeat it with without an item, actually. Well, I could just uh, guard, but anyway, that's a clap. The rock headed jerk with spikes in his dock and run a rocker. Max HP is two, attack is two, and defense is two. That hard head is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are pretty effective usually. Nothing seems to work on it. You can always just run. But I'm not. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do any damage with just the stuff that I have equipped. Whoops, well, that's certainly not going to help. That's not going to do any damage to it. I'm going to have to try and super guard it. Yeah! That works. Uh, yeah, because I can't do squat to it. I mean, I, I could use an ice storm, but I, I'd really want to save that until uh, later. Uh, wait, yeah, I took off the power smash badge. Hmm. Well... Let's burn the turns, I guess. <laughs> oh, I should actually be uh, uh, at, at least showing this off, too. Uh, using appeals will give you star points as well, and that just recovers your um, star meter. Excuse me. Star power is what I'm saying, not star points. Star points are the experience points. Eh, I'm getting tied up in my words. But okay, I think I got the basics of all that stuff explained, so let's move on here. And I just realized I gotta take off the badge that uh, um, the attack effects are badge because yeah it's kind of awkward <laughs> it actually sounds more like a frog than it does a um, oh, honey syrup it actually sounds more like a frog than it does a cricket actually in my opinion stop following me I got all the tattles that I need in this area actually maybe not I think there's one more enemy that can uh, possibly have something like that anyway there's a pipe hmm That's what I was telling you about. That's where you punies live. 
That's home. Of course, well, of course, it's not just us in the tree. Lots of jabbies and titers, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Through the pipe, but I'm gonna go here and get an in coupon. Very nice. There's coin. Can I get more? No, I didn't think so. It's not like hitting a block. Okay, let's first go down here. Obviously, you can't go to the left because you can't jump high enough. So let's just go straight to the right where the tree is. Don't fall. Down is death. Always remember, down is death. Yeah. <laughs> Such beauty. It's the great Deku tree. I, I mean, the great tree. So here we are. There he is. Um, what? What's going on? Oh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. That's quite a high-tech door for a tree. <laughs> I mean, how did that... Oh, forget it. I guess you'll find out who did it later. Oh, could be melodramatic. Although it does look thick. What are we going to do now? Got it! Follow it. Keep going. Follow it. Hmm. Long ago, the Pony Elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We can get in through there. I'm completely sure about it. Uh, but, but the problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't be labeled secret entrance. That is true. I mean, who would label a secret entrance secret entrance? What should we do? Hmm. How are we supposed to find a secret entrance? It's a secret for a reason, you know. Oh, well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone the visible one. Um, uh, no, I got, got it. Flurry! Sure, Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry, you say? Who might be this Flurry? I guess we shall meet her soon. A wind spirit? Well, I guess you kind of described it. <laughs> hmm... All right, we gotta go to the deepest part of the woods. But first, let's go over here. I think, I think, quote unquote, think there is. Yep, the flower point plus badge, which increases the maximum flower points by five. This is something that you can use, sort of like to rebalance your stats, because you can sort of trade in flower points. I mean, trade in badge points because it costs as many badge points as it does when you do level ups. See, three badge points, you get three badge points per level up. And you can use that to trade your badge points for flower points, and yeah. It's something that you can do if you want to. I... I'm kind of iffy about that, but anyway. Ah! These woods are the most wonderful in all the world! Yes, indeed! I do agree, this place is incredibly beautiful. Wait, wait. That wasn't that. I wasn't talking in the right voice, now was I? I think that was someone talking in the house. Yep. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> this place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such feasts and negative image of the real world soothes my body and soul. Well, what's even better is that I, Madame Fury, Flurry, grow even more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in the tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave the hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak, already as I feel the need for drama, heart. <laughs> At moments of exhilaration, when the spotlight shines down on the stage, on me, surely I was born to be an actress for the ages. Man, we've got to meet her, she sounds interesting. Oh, well, she's in the corner, sort of. It is settled in. I shall rise again, but before I make my stage come back, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape, heart. I, sh I just have to put on some makeup and make my body even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No, it's gone! God, I tell you! My, my... <laughs> what's gone? What's gone? We must find out what's gone. Where could it be? What are we looking for? Let's move on. <laughs> oh? We head straight 
this direction. We'll see Flurry's place in no time. All right. So now we go to the right. Let's see what's over this way. Ah, the puzzle room of sorts. If you go over here, um, oh, there's a. But let me go in the pipe. Out of my way. Someone see me? And there, there you go. Let me in. Why can't I go in the pipe? I'm, I'm pretty sure I can go inside the pipe. Oh, got lucky. Oh, dark puff. I guess I can uh, tattle that. Just as long as I'm here. Mm -hmm. Stylish! That's a dark puff. It's basically a tiny, mean thunderhead. Max HP is 3, attack is 2, and defense is 0. Sometimes it'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does! Yowch! You know what I mean, right? Zzzz. Shocking! <laughs> After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lightning. Beat it as fast as you can. I did not read that in Goombella's voice. Alright, I'm gonna actually run from this battle. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah! Go, 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 go! I want my coins back, though. Just get away from me. Let me go get my coins back. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I thought I was able to go in here at least now. There we go. Why, why didn't that work before? So, if you go up here, you're going to notice that you can't really do much of anything. Because this just isn't high enough, unfortunately. Oh, poopers. Oh! Spot, if you go in here. Oh! Look at that. Go through the back. Yeah, hey, you can drop off here anytime, by the way. Hit the switch. The pipe extends! It's mechanical! Amazing! Or it's growing really quickly. And there's a star piece over here. Do not forget about that, of course. Now, don't you dare. No, you don't. No. No. Yes. <laughs> okay, floats, floats. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. Now you can go across. And this is the Quake Hammer Badge. This can also damage stuff on the uh, ceiling, if I recall correctly. That's something to cover for later. Uh, I think there's a star piece somewhere around here, I thought. Yeah, no, no, nope. There it is. Uh, I think there's another star piece back there, if I recall correctly. Oh, oh, uh oh. Look, there in the distance. That's what I was telling you about. Flurry's place. Uh, heal. Definitely you want to heal because something is coming. Anyway, sneak through here. Uh, what's that? Where is it? Am I? This isn't a tree that I can hit, really? I, th I thought you can hit this one. <clears throat> Blocks in the way, obviously. I'm just kind of swinging blindly here until I manage to hit. Oh, I guess you can't hit that. Too bad. So sad. Anyway, over here. Yep, there's another star piece. Let's go down here. And. Oh! Shoot! I forgot a shine sprite. Forgot a shine sprite. Mm. Going back. Back up over here. Look to your left. Yep. <sighs> Can't believe I forgot that. Oh, whoop. There we go. When I realized that, I was like, oh, I can't believe I forgot about that. Anyway, now let's go over to Flurry's house. Hmm. Nice place. Uh, excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if we, she went for a walk in the woods. Hmm. I doubt it. But for now, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.